Hey everyone, Presito here. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about D-Bank and their potential upcoming airdrop. I'm going to be covering all the potential airdrop criteria that there may be. And if you follow all the steps in this video, I'm pretty sure, at least 99% sure, that you will get the airdrop if they do have one. And it's speculated that they will have one. So that is obviously very bullish. And I definitely recommend following these steps and uh, securing the potential airdrop. So I'm not going to be talking much about D-Bank itself as a product, besides its brief intro. And that is that it's a Web3 native messenger and a Web3 portfolio tracker that covers all your tokens, DeFi protocols, NFT across all EVM chains. And it's actually a really good product. I must say I use it recently and I find it very helpful. Also, if you've been farming airdrops and everything like that, you might have forgot some money in certain wallets on a certain chain. And it actually helps you find out, okay, you actually left that there. So let me go check and recover that. So it helped me with that a little bit, to be honest. So it's actually a really cool tool to use in itself. So let's start by covering all the different criteria and jump straight into it. First of all, I'm going to be leaving my D-Bank profile link and uh, you will have to share it if you want to refer users. And there's a share button here and I'll copy this link and share it in the description so you can get to the right D-Bank site. Obviously, it's my profile and you can follow me. I'll follow you back. That is going to be part of the requirements later on in the video, which I'll cover more in depth. But just to start off and so you have the link and everything ready, I'll share this to you guys and you can access via that. So let's start off actually with covering this, which was posted on Twitter quite a lot. And this was found in the contract code of D-Bank itself or in their white paper. I'm not 100% sure, but people are speculating this will be the requirements. And I did see someone comment saying this actually won't be the requirements. This is just to be anti-Sybil and not to get attacked by Sybils, which are people that are farming the airdrop with thousands of accounts. Because if you do these three things, you can't really be marked as a Sybil. So... These are the speculated requirements, net worth above $1,000, Web3 ID minted, and addresses have followers on D-Bank and a total value followed of more than zero. So these are the basic requirements which I'll be covering that you should do if you want to be eligible for the airdrop. And it's all really uh, simple things. But anyways, let's start with the first step and first requirement. That is minting your Web3 ID. So obviously this is a big button here that shows up when you log in with your wallet. So you just click on that and it will cost $96 to min so it is quite hefty so you can skip the step if you don't want to pay $96 for it I did do it on my main accounts this isn't my main account just a extra wallet I'm using but I did pay that just because I think it could be worth it if they do have an airdrop surely and which they are planning probably to do it will cover this $96 so you pay here to mint you're gonna to have to enable it uh, you can see I mean register you click register you choose which chain for registration. You can choose BNB chain just to save some on fees. You just click next, generate the bank key uh, registration contract. It'll pop up in your wallet. You click sign and then approve the transaction. I'm not going to do it now because I don't have uh, Ethereum in this wallet. But then once it's registered, it'll let you deposit here to L2. Then you'll just deposit. And uh, for example, what I did was just deposit 100 USDT pay that fee and then I get that Web3 ID and keep in mind you can't change that Web3 ID after you've created it then you can also withdraw the funds back to where you deposited it from so anyways that's the first step which I would recommend then you can also just add your email and Twitter but I don't think that is so necessary anyways let's go to the next step which is all the badges that they have so if we go to badges you can see a view all badges and you'll be eligible for some and there's some which you can be eligible for no matter what, basically with a rabbi valued user badge, for example. But let's look at one inch airdrop hunter. So it'll scan your wallet automatically and pick up whether you did the one inch airdrop. And if you did, you can mint. So with this wallet, I was not eligible for that. So I can't mint that. But you can check out some other ones. You can see all the different airdrops. This is total value followed. So if people follow you and they have, all your followers have more than 100 million, then you can get this. You can see only 800 people on D-Bank actually have that. Also with 1 million TVF, you get a badge for that. And this could be a factor for eligibility for the airdrop. Then you can see uh, Arbitrum Airdrop Hunter. Again, on this wallet, I wasn't eligible. One Ethereum of gas use, also not eligible. But 
for the ones that you are eligible for, like for this one, 100 days on chain, I am eligible. So I can just click mint. So I'm not a robot and done. So minted that. Same thing with 1000 days on chain. This wallet is over 1000 days old. So I can also mint that done successfully. So I've got these two now. So the more you get, obviously, the better. Then for the next step for Rabi Wallet, you can go here. You click on mint. It'll just show you the steps on how to install it and claim your code and so on. So you can do that. Although I don't think this will be quite so important as a requirement for the airdrop. So let's go back to our profile. Next up is the net worth. As you can see here, this is for this wallet, the net worth. So what I'd recommend is for this to be as high as possible, at least over a thousand if you can. If you can't, then you should be okay. But that could be a requirement as well. Next requirement that could be quite important is this TVF total value of followers so when someone follows you for example if i had to follow you your tvf would go up by 200 if someone with hundred thousand dollar net worth follows you your tvf would go up by hundred thousand so the higher that is the better and possibly your airdrop would be bigger the bigger this number is so that is something to consider as well what they could also even be considering is the amount of people with over a certain net worth following you maybe someone with over a million net worth follows you that could also contribute to it anyways next up important thing would be to interact and text users so here if you message me you can just go to my profile message and say hi that would be interacting so feel free to do that i'll reply to you guys and if we go and check out some other profiles for example just open a random one here you can see here you can say hi although this guy says it charges 13 dollars to say hi so i'm not going to do that but you can see this guy's got a huge tvf a lot of followers so that's why the charge is so much and his net worth is also quite high but it doesn't really matter who you interact with as long as you do interact with people and use their features like the chatting product if you go on higher you can just message people and chat to them you can ask one of your friends to do it so you don't have to pay any one dollar fee or anything like that so that is also something that I'd recommend you guys to do. Next up is to use their stream feature. This is basically just posting, uh, reposting, and you can comment and put trust in other people's posts. So if I click here, post, I can type here, just say, so pro, and then post. So you guys can like, comment, or whatever, interact with it, and that'll increase credibility and increase your chances possibly for the airdrop. So that's something also to do, and I recommend you guys to do that as well. Then also keep in mind that your posts on stream are rated depending on your balance and the type of people interacting with your posts. And you can see here the content credibility. Mine is really bad. Obviously, I just made the account. I've invented the uh, Web3 ID and so on. So that's not pro. Anyways, next up, which is also quite important, I think, is going here on more and then to vote and creating a proposal and just voting on other people's proposals. And I'm pretty sure you can just put whatever. For example, here I'm going to go token. I'm going to put support new token. See, it says official website. I'm just going to copy paste here uh, this crypto night token that came out today and just recently launched. So I'm sure this hasn't been proposed yet. So I'm just putting the token contract there and I'm putting the token name. So I'm just going to submit this and wait for that. And you can see here, does it overlap with these? So it turns out some other people actually did post that. So I'm just going to say it's a different matter. Although I don't know if that's allowed. But as you can see, when I try submit, it says I need the Web3 ID to create the proposal, which I don't have on this account. But if you did mint it, then you can create that proposal. So that's all good. But if you don't have the Web3 ID, you can still vote on the proposal. So you can check out here what people are talking about. Support new chain. It says the bank does not show their Solana balance. I'll just go here and I can just upload that so the frame from 17 to 18 and you can see who voted here the net worth and so on it's also a good way to engage with some other people so that's also one of the requirements and then lastly what i said also in the beginning of the video is just to refer your friends as i said earlier if you click over here on the bottom right on the share button you can see your referral code and your referral link pop up so you share that with friends and then just message each other use the product and then you'll very likely be eligible for the airdrop so feel free to send me a message on here as well on this wallet i'll reply to you guys i'll follow you back so you can grow your following and hopefully you'll all be eligible for the airdrop if they do have one so hopefully this video was of help to you guys as usual i'd appreciate if you can subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on telegram and twitter and i'll see you guys next time